Hello you guys, welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make a basic weapon mod. You can make your own weapon using the Fallout 4 creation kit. Two things you'll need, you need Fallout 4 installed and Fallout 4 creation kit. Uh, before we start I just wanted to share with everybody my knowledge on this is very small. Uh, this is very very basic, I'm sure that people will be able to figure out for themselves how to go into further detail with doing this. Alright so just first things first, uh, start up Fallout 4 creation kit. Now, something else, um, I do run three screens normally, so I'm dragging things from other windows, don't worry. I'll make sure that everything is here. Um, to start up, you just need to go to the file, um, you go down to data. Um, what you want is you want to just open the Fallout 4 ESM, that's just the yeah master file. Um, you don't want to open up anything else unless you plan on building from other mods. So. Click OK. Um, you'll see down the bottom corner here, it's loading files. Please keep in mind that the creation kit isn't actually in beta. It's not the full version yet. Um, so occasionally it will crash and it will take a little bit of time to load. Um, if it does crash, just restart it and install the data again. Okay, so that's done. Um, basic object window, um, heads up. This includes every single part of the game data. If you really wanted to, you could go and do it individually. You can find the weapons. The weapon that I'm going to modify right now is the hunting rifle. It's just here. Um, actually, no. It is handmade. And I'm pretty sure it's here somewhere. Hunting rifle. There we go. That's the weapon I'll be modifying. You don't want to modify this uh, comp decon hunting rifle. It's not the one that's actually used in the game. It's a special edition or something, but it doesn't work very well. I have not been able to get it working as a mod in-game. So if you're ever going to mod the hunting rifle, I just suggest using the base one here. But for today, you want to go into hunting rifle, you want to search hunting rifle into the filter. Um, what that does is um, basically just shows only that um, class name or editor ID, I should say. Um, and it will show you all the mods and everything that's relevant to the hunting rifle. And you're only going to need to edit three, or so should I say, you're going to have to create two files, um, but edit three different things. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to create your actual weapon, which is the um, the base object from the hunting rifle. So just go to edit, don't click duplicate, and you'll um, see why if you do. What it does is it creates a copy, and then when you edit the ID, um, it creates another copy and then you'll just end up with two different versions of the gun and you don't want that, you just want the one. So just click on edit. Um, I'm going to name this one Hunting Rifle Full Auto. Uh, I'm going to name it. Uh, just name whatever you want if you're doing another gun. Name it like whatever. Um, this one's going to be Full Auto Sniper. Enchanting. Um, I've never tried anything other than the weapon mods. I've always just been going with the legendary mods because I don't really want to break the game if other things aren't meant for it. The thing with this um, tool, this creation kit, is it includes every single item in the game. And I just don't want to mess around with anything. You guys can try and see if it works. But for what I do, I'm normally just doing poison damage or um, I would normally do the uh, weapons bleed or something like that. So I'm just going to do damage poison. That's what I know of. Chairman, you don't need to worry about that. The value, you can make whatever you want. If you want an extremely expensive gun, something that's extremely OP, you can make it. One million value when you go into a um, vendor or something and sell it. That's how much they'll buy it for. Um, what I'm going to do, because it's a full auto, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you click the automatic box. If you wanted to have like a in my uh, other video, a DAC DAC or something like that, like from CSGO, then you want to repeat it with a single file, even though the game the Counter-Strike game actually has it full auto, but I don't like that, so put it with single file if you want to do that. Um, you also want to get rid of bolt action down here. Now, um, if you have a capacity of five, that's the capacity down here means how many bullets you have in the magazine. If you have five in a full auto gun, you're going to run out of ammo pretty much instantly, so you don't want that. That's absolutely terrible. I'm going to make it about 30 as a base. You can also upgrade it. Um, if you change this, you don't have to change the mods either. The mods just increase the ammo by percentage, not by um, a certain number. They don't set it to a certain number, so you don't need to worry about changing the mods. You can change the base damage, but honestly, you're going to be having a, like a full auto gun that's just going to be changing the entire damage output of the gun, so you don't really need to change the base damage. It's going to do enough damage as it is. Um, your reload speed, I'm going to increase this to 2 seconds. 
Um, you don't want it to be so OP. You guys might want an OP gun. This is the range, so minimum range is... Um, I want to increase that to 300. I'm pretty sure this one meters, that's 3000. And I'm going to make it about 450 top. And that basically means that within this range, the gun will start losing damage um, between it. And outside of that range, it's not going to do any damage. It won't hit. You can change the critical damage. Basically, that means like headshots or anywhere where they're weak. Um, so say, for example, if you're shooting like um, a Mr. Handy or something like that, and you're shooting at its eye, that's going to be a critical shot. Um, you'll see all that in VATS. If you use VATS and stuff, you'll see where all the critical hits are. I'm going to leave that. Like, you know, um, you don't really need it. Yeah, out of range. Like, that's out of range. So that's when you start doing um, less damage. But um, the attack delay... I should be able to change that, but it's not letting me. Don't know why. Don't worry about the template. If you go into object template, you'll see all the different um, variants that the gun will create. So when you actually do spawn it in, you'll normally just get a um, random gun. Um, yeah, don't worry about any of this. Cancel that. Um, go into art and sound. This is the um, model that the gun will be using. It's just going to be using the standard um, hunting rifle model. Unless you guys are good at 3D editing, and I'm really not, so you guys can go ahead and make your own models and import them here. Um, but bear in mind, you're going to have to mess around with all the values of where all the mods get put, um, where all the um, animations come from, like the, the muzzle flashes and all that sort of stuff. You're going to have to set all that stuff up individually, and I have no idea how to do that, so don't ask me. Uh, this is your shots per second, but we want to change. There it is. Now we can change it. Okay. So, attack delays per seconds. I'm going to make my gun shoot much faster. Um, that just means how long you have to wait until the gun can shoot again. But I'm pretty sure that's not actually in seconds. I don't know how this works, but setting that lower seems to make it shoot faster for me. Uh, I'm going to lower down the animation time for the, uh, the recoil. Uh, I'm going to turn that down to 0.3. It doesn't need to be so strong for an automatic gun. Uh, constant, yeah. Um, sound. You can put your own sounds in. If you wanted to make like a laser gun, you can get like a laser sound. I don't know what type of file they need to be, but it will tell you. You can just Google it. Um, this is all the same as the standard gun. It will use all the same sounds. You can change this to... This is basically how the enemies picture the sound, like they'll hear it from um, either when you're close, if you're silent, then it makes no sound, very loud, makes a huge sound, they'll be able to hear you from a long way away. Um, the ammo, I'm going to leave this at 308 because you can actually modify the guns and you can put the 50 caliber on the hunting rifle, so I'm not going to change that. I'm going to make it at 50 caliber anyway, but yeah. Um, by the way, you can do this with any gun. You can turn a SMG or whatever into a bolt action gun. You can edit anything that you want. Um, but I'm going to make mine an automatic sniper OP. So I click OK and it will tell you that it wants to create a new form. Just click Yes. Um, and then you'll see the new one down there. Don't worry about this. This is the aim model. So this is when you're like aiming down the scope. That's what um, data it uses to find out where to look. Um, your ammo, don't worry about that. Okay, so this is where you want to start editing and adding your class name. You want to add your class name to every single one of these. So what you want to do is highlight hunting rifle first. If you don't, this is what will happen. It will just start at 10 millimeter. And when you go to select your model, you have to scroll all the way down. That sucks. Don't do that. Make sure that you highlight hunting rifle first. Click on new. And then right underneath it, you'll see your new gun that you've just made. Make sure that you put this. This is what is um, making it in the loot system. So if you don't have this, then your gun will not dynamically spawn um, either in the loot or in the vendors. So if you ever want to buy your gun somewhere or have it as part of the actual in-game thing, this is what you need to do. Otherwise, just skip this part. You don't need it. Um, so I've already done the first one. Next one. Click on new again. Hunting rifle. Yep. New hunting rifle full auto. By the way, you can also see what it will spawn. If you go into like a vendor or something like that, you'll see the values there. 
um, because this is this is randomly um, sworn gun, so this is going to have mods on it, and depending on what mods increases the value, so that is obviously not the base value. So as you can see, this one will have um, special mods on it. Hardened sniper rifle, as you can see, that's what it would have. It will have a um, uh, um, semi-auto conversion, which it doesn't really make a difference to it whatsoever, because we've already made a full auto. But there you go. That's what the mod does. So. Okay, so that's that one done. If you click on this one, oh, that excuse that tart data, so you don't need to worry about that one. But the random template we need to worry about. Click on new. Um, so now, as you saw that result that I just showed you before, from that's what this does. And so without that, it will not happen like that in game. Got that one. Got that one. Um, don't need to worry about this. This is just the mods. This works for the same gun because you're using the same data, gathering the same data from the same gun. Oh, you don't want to do that. I certainly have a brain fade then. Doesn't do anything. Hunting ruffle. You've already done that one. Don't need to worry about pipe gun. Oh, we'll do that one in a second. Yeah, don't need to worry about that. And we already got that. Da -da -da. So this is um, another thing you need to duplicate. What you want to do is you want to make this one full auto. Don't exactly know what this does. I know that it um, has something to do with the um, mod associate. That's that's how you apply all the mods to the gun. That's how it knows um, where that those mods, these mods here, fit onto this gun. So you want to just edit that, and it will ask you to make a new form. Just click yes. Um, don't need to worry about anything else other than this. This is just your zoom. Don't need to worry about that. Um, that honestly should be it. Just double check quickly. But these are all the mods. You can edit these mods if you really want to, um, but bear in mind, whatever you edit, this is the base um, game file. It will copy and duplicate, so if you ever wanted to increase, for an example, you, if you wanted to make a new mod completely, um, you could put in your own uh, required item list. So for an example, I wanted to put in a uh, fusion core. Am I fusion core? There you go. Um, you could put in a hundred so you require a hundred but I'm not gonna do that stupid why would you want a hundred fusion cores? <laughs> Alright so that's it. So you go file save I'm gonna name this uh so I've already made one before but I didn't record my cursor so I had to re record it. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it um hunting rifle demo for YouTube with a really long file name. There you go. So now I'm going to open up Nexus Mod Manager for that 4. I'm going to turn this one off but because this shares the same file name as this tutorial I made before, I'm going to disable the other one because you don't need it. So launch for that 4. Play. Okay, so don't know who the hell this person is. Who? Yeah. Hey, so what's your story? Looking at no. Alright, um. You want to go type in help, whatever you name your gun. Um, so for mine, it's just full auto. Just going to type in full auto. And then at the end of it, the number. Oh, actually, you can only have one word when you're searching. So if you go help, I'm just going to type in full. I'm going to get a lot of results, but hopefully the weapon comes at the bottom. bottom. There you go, that's the class name, or should I say the ID of your um, full auto sniper or whatever you made. So, um, basically, I'm just going to play on dot add item. If you don't know how to do this, then you've never used a console before. And then one at the end just signals I want one item to be added to my inventory. Add. You'll see hardened sniper rifle added. That's the random uh, modifier. You'll never get the base. If you get the base, you're just very unlucky. 
So as you can see, the fire rate is 113. Range is very high. Um, the value is there. Ah, oh, accidentally double clicked. So, oops. Um, at the moment, it's using the 308. Now I don't really have much 308 ammo. So, shut up. I uh, want to modify this. Want a compensator. Medium scope. Want to put a short recon scope because the zoom in these guns is terrible. Large magazine is going to increase the massive. Like, yeah, you can see the price increasing as well. I think it's going to have about 60 bullets. I'm pretty sure it doubles. Long barrel. Long ported barrel. Hardened receiver. 50 cal receiver. Right. Exit. Now, I don't have much 50 cal ammo either. Um, let's gonna spawn one Deathclaw on top of Piper. And get ready for the farm. Now, the recoil on this is gonna be. That's a lot of damage. And as you can see, you can see the, the mist that was coming off it when I was shooting. That's the poison legendary. You can still see it actually. Um, so as you can see, it's extremely OP. Um, it obviously works. I don't have any vendors at the moment, but... This is another thing I've made. Um, it's not really completely done yet, but all I've really done is change a um, large generator into a fusion generator, which produces... Um, I'll show you 1000 power, it's pretty nice. Um, I've also modified all the stuff that's required to buy it. I can show you in the, another video how to do this, but for now this will do. Um, yep, I hope this video was helpful. Um, very basic, but it gets the, uh, gets the information out there for you guys to use. So for people that have absolutely no idea how to make weapons, hopefully you guys do now. Um, I'm not really going to go into any more detail on this, so I'm just going to have to rely on other people to do that, so, but yeah, see you later.